What's up guys, here we are, it's another week at the Home Theater Hobbies, and this week we have another basic series where we're talking about three-dimensional audio on Blu-ray. Where can you get it, and how can you get it on your television? So let's get to it. So, a few months ago we did a Home Theater Basics video on audio, and in that video we cover three-dimensional audio formats. If you want to know more about that, please check out the link above. Really quickly, we'll give you a tutorial on three-dimensional audio. In a basic two-dimensional world, you have your speakers placed all around your seating position. In the three-dimensional world, you add in height speakers, so you have speakers pointing down towards you, and so it gives you a three-dimensional sound field, so it goes around and over you. Now, there are three basic 3D audio formats. This Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D. In the US, Dolby Atmos and DTSX are the main players, and those are the ones that we're gonna focus on in this video. Here we are in early 2018, and if you have purchased an AV receiver within the past, let's say 12 months, it probably came with Dolby Atmos DTSX, which is pretty good. And if you haven't purchased one, the good news is there are a lot of them, like this Sony that I'm showing right now, the STR-DH790, it's going to be available soon for $379. According to the website, it's Dolby Atmos and DTSX compatible. So what that really means is that this particular technology is dropping all the way down the AV receiver line, which is great. But you may not have purchased a 4K TV or UHD player. So what are you going to do? Well, the good news is a lot of Blu-rays today come with Dolby Atmos or DTS soundtracks. So before we get into setup, I'm gonna assume you have at least a Blu-ray player and a flat panel television, along with a Dolby Atmos capable AV receiver. Assuming you have those things, you need to go into your Blu-ray player's settings menu, go to audio settings, find the digital audio output setting, select bitstream if it's not already selected, and this will send the ones and zeros that you need to your receiver. From there, your receiver will be able to decode the signal that it gets. Okay, so once you've done that, you can now start purchasing Blu-ray discs that have Dolby Atmos and DTSX soundtracks on them and watch them and enjoy them in your home. One of the things that we recommend is that you go ahead and you pick up that 4K UHD Blu-ray that also has a standard Blu-ray in the package. That way, when you do get a 4K UHD TV, you already have some movies to play on it. So how do you determine which discs have three-dimensional audio formats? Well, you go to Amazon.com or some other website like that, and you find a picture of the disc cover, and you look at the back of the cover, okay? And once you get to the back of the cover, at the bottom of it, you're going to have a section that tells you what audio format these things come in. So you'll get like a 4K UHD and a Blu-ray, and then you read if it has Dolby Atmos or DTSX. That's the easiest way to tell. And I do this a lot just to figure out which disc I want to purchase or which disc I just want to wait for. Okay, some of you may be saying, I don't have time to sit there and go through all of that. Can you just give me a couple that I can just pick up really quick? I definitely will. Now this isn't an exhaustive list, but it's just a few to get you started. We'll start with Dolby Atmos because right now it's currently the more popular of the two formats. First of all, we'll start with Mad Max Fury Road, Wonder Woman, Hacksaw Ridge, Blade Runner 2049, Lego Ninjago, Deepwater Horizon, Kong Skull Island, The Mummy 2017 Edition, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, It the 2017 Edition, Transformers Age of Extinction, American Assassin, and Jupiter Ascending. Moving on to DTSX, we have Atomic Blonde, Despicable Me 3, the Fate of the Furious, which is Fast and Furious 8, and American Made. Like I said, this is not an exhaustive list, so if you know of some others, please post them in the comments section below. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Also, if you enjoy the content that you see on this channel, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you next time.